Did you know that the adult brain has approximately 83 billion neurons, plus the frontal lobe is the last part to develop in adolescence, which may explain why our young people in our schools take risks, find it difficult to be empathetic, and are a little bit more erratic throughout their adolescence years. So in the link to this video, you've got this cartoon which will explain shortly. Adolescence, so the young people in our schools, is actually defined from ages 13 to 25 years old. And when we are born, we have the most neurons at one single point in our life. And then over time, uh, they start to prune away and fade, and we're left with approximately 83 to 100 billion neurons. And that all depends on uh, how well you look after yourself, how much alcohol you drink, those kind of things. And these neurons are the architects of memory and learning. And why I think it's important to know, well, neurons connect through synapses. They form the basis of all our thoughts, our memory and our experiences. And we can learn a little bit more about the anatomy of the brain to improve how we th how we actually approach our teaching. This is something I've been doing exclusively for the last few years. Through neuroplasticity, our connection strengthen with use, shaping our ability to learn and to adapt. And I believe teachers should tailor their teaching to harness the incredible kind of potential that neuroscience and neuroplasticity in this case can yield in all our students. One thing that I'd recommend you do if you incorporate brain breaks into your lessons, so not a free-for-all, but a curriculum quiz or something like that, so with uh, engaging stories, you can boost synaptic connections and enhance learning in your, uh, in your lessons today very easily. So storytelling, low-state quizzes, reducing that stress and increasing that retrieval. So in this cartoon, you've got a little biology lesson to help you understand what one single neuron looks like. I hope it helps.